Hey everyone, it's Ryan. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing uh, a food guide of the Festival of the Holidays at Epcot. I will be going over all the food items, uh, all the booths that are available, and a lot of the non-alcoholic drinks. I am not doing any alcohol drinks just because I don't really drink, so I don't know much about that, and I don't really want to, you know, I don't want to like, pretend like I know what I'm talking about when I really don't. I really honestly don't know how to really properly explain a lot of these drinks. That's why there will be no alcohol beverages on this list. I'm sorry about that. I'll also be going over some of the other things that they will be doing, like the cookie stroll and where you can find the cookies uh, for that. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So let's get into all the food and the drinks that are available at Epcot's Festival of the Holidays this year. first thing that we're going to talk about is the holiday cookie stroll. Your festival passport will list where you can find the five cookies in a stamp you can put in your passport. Now you do have to pay for the cookies, but not really that expensive. It's about like five to six, seven maybe dollars for each cookie. I'm not really sure, but I know that they are under ten and nine dollars, so you don't have to worry, they're not really that expensive. But once you find all five cookies and you collect all five stamps, you can bring your festival passport to the Sweets and Treats Holiday Kitchen to receive a complimentary mini peppermint cookie. The best part about this is you can take your time with it. You don't have to rush. You can even come back any time during the festival to complete your stroll. Another thing they have this year is Gingerbread Capital City. It is going to be located in World Showplace and features gingerbread replicas of some of the nation's most iconic landmarks, including the United States Capitol Building, the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, and a five-foot-tall Washington Monument. Now, to the part you've all been waiting for, the food. Up first is the refreshment port. Now this is at Showcase Plaza and they offer a turkey poutine french fries with turkey gravy, cranberry relish, and crispy onions. And they also have a couple of beverages. So now they have a TG Lee eggnog and they have a non-alcoholic version in one with spice rum that you can enjoy. Now moving on to the citrus blossom which is also at Showcase Plaza. Now the first thing they have is the orange cream shake and it's in a souvenir orange bird zipper cup which looks really cute. I really want one and it is non-alcoholic. Now moving on to the, the Mele Kalikimaka Holiday Kitchen. Sorry if I mispronounced that. It is also available at Showcase Plaza. Now they have the Kalula pork with Okinawa purple sweet potatoes and a mango slaw and this is new. They also have a lomi lomi salmon with tomatoes, onions, salmon roe, yuzi mayonnaise, and yuca chips. This is also new. And a halpia Hawaiian coconut pudding with candy macadamia nuts and coconut, which is also new. Man, after reading all this, I am now really hungry. Moving on to the holiday sweets and treats. This is at Promenade Refreshments, and the first food item is the Peppermint Sundae. This is chocolate ice cream topped with whipped cream and peppermint candy. This is gluten and wheat friendly. Next, we have the mini peppermint cookie. Now this is also on the cookie stroll. Now they also have a couple of beverages. The first is a hot cocoa, which is non-alcoholic, and the next one is the chocolate peppermint shake featuring Twinings Peppermint Cheer Tea, which is also non-alcoholic. Moving on to the refreshment outposts, they only have one item and this is the warm brown sugar stuffed pretzel with soft served ice cream and chocolate sauce. Coca-Cola or Minute Made Lemonade in a Souvenir Spike the Bee Sipper Cup, which is non-alcoholic. Moving on to the Bavarian Holiday Kitchen in Germany, they have first off the pork schnitzel with mushroom sauce spatzel and braised red cabbage. They also have the cheese fondue and a bread bowl with steamed baby vegetables and marbled potatoes. And the Linzer cookie, which is on the cookie straw. Now moving to the American holiday table. Their first item is the slow roasted turkey with stuffing, mashed potatoes, green beans, and cranberry sauce. They also have the holiday pot pie with jackfruit, mushrooms, carrots, peas, onions, and puff pasty plant-based item, and this is a new thing this year. Next is the pumpkin gingerbread cheesecake with cranberry whipped cream and candy pumpkin seeds. This is also new, and they also have the chocolate crinkle cookie, which is on the cookie straw. Next, we have the Le Chim Holiday Kitchen. This one is between Morocco and France, and they are offering 
pastrami on rye with house-made pickles and deli mustard, a smoked salmon potato latiques, which is a plant-based item, a Sufgan Yoto mini jelly-filled donuts, sorry if I mispronounced that one, and a black and white chocolate cookie, which is a plant-based item and is on the cookie straw. Moving to festival favorites at World Showplace, they're offering the blackened bass with white cheddar grits and okra with tomato and onion stew and seasonal southern delights. Next, they have the duck confit and dumplings with roasted Brussels sprouts and fig reduction. And they have a gingerbread cookie, which is also on the cookie straw. They also offer a few beverages, a Kunkito tropical eggnog, which is non-alcoholic, and a frozen s'more, which is non-alcoholic. Next, we have the Holiday Hearth at World Showplace. They have two items. One is a red velvet mini bun cake with cream cheese icing. This is new. And the next one, which I gotta say looks pretty cool, is a salted caramel spaceship earth cookie. This is also new, and it looks really amazing. They also have snowball cookies. This is new as well, along with a peppermint bark, stolen holiday fruit cake, and also a new mouse crunch. And they also have a gingerbread milkshake, which is not alcoholic. This is also new in some hot cocoa. Now going over to Prost at World Showplace. They have one item and it is the charcuterie and cheese plate. Now moving to Canada, we have the Yukon Holiday Kitchen. Two new items and the first one is a seared scallop with parsnip silk, apple chutney, and hazelnut croquant. And the next one is a beef Borgenung with crushed potatoes. And then next they have the maple bunshell de Noel, maple mousse and cranberry rolled and gingerbread chiffon cake. And last but not least, a peppermint pinwheel cookie with, and which is on the cookie stroll. Next we have holiday beverages in the English garden, which is behind the tea caddy. And they have the Twinings Christmas tea toddy served with a cinnamon stick. And this is non-alcoholic. Next, we have the Le Marchand de Noël, sorry if I mispronounced it, is the holiday kitchen in France, and their items are the Relati de Somme, which is a salmon spread with house-made bread. Next, which is turkey with bacon, mushrooms, and onions, and a mustard cream sauce with puffed potatoes. This is new. And they have the Bouche de Noël à Caramel. This is a Christmas log with chocolate cake and dark chocolate caramel ganache. Next, we have the Sapphire Holiday Kitchen in Morocco. They have the grilled lamb kebab and grape and grapes with euro cucumbers, red peppers, pickled pearls, onions, and a harissa cilantro dressing. Next is the confit of Shermula chicken drum with cinnamon Granny Smith apples, tossed almonds, and Brussels sprouts, and a pinnet noir glaze. Last is the warm beignets with cream, cinnamon sugar, and chocolate sauce. Now going to the Tuscany Holiday Kitchen in Italy. They have an Italian flatbread with mozzarella, asiago, and parmesan. Next, they have a four cheese mini beggar purse filled with sweet sausages, caramel caramelized onions, pancetta, and a creamy mushroom with creamy sauce, which is new. And last, there is the cannoli, which is a crisp pastry filled with sweet ricotta, chocolate, and candy orange. Moving on to Shanghai Holiday Kitchen in China, they have the red stew beef rice bowl, which is new. They also have a new curry chicken rice bowl and some house-made crab and cheese wontons. And they also have a drink, the panda bubble tea. This is classic milk tea with black and white bobas. This is non-alcoholic. Now going to the Shiwatsu Holiday Kitchen in Japan. The first thing they have is the New Year's Celebration Soba. This is buckwheat soba noodles and hot dasha soup with shrimp, tempura, fish cake, and chopped green onions. Next is the sashimi grade tuna, salmon, yukari, and yellowtail with vegetables decorated on a bed of rice. Last, we have the strawberry and Bavarian cream filled tart sprinkled with copetta. This is also new. Next, we have the Las Posadas Holiday Kitchen in Mexico. Their first name is the Giant Tostadas de Chorizo. It is a chorizo served on a giant tostada with a chipotle black bean puree. Salsa verde, queso, cajita, creamy mexicana, and pickled onions. This is also gluten and wheat friendly, and it is new. Next, we have the Tamale de Polo. It's brazen chipotle chicken served in a corn 
Mesa topped with mole verde, queso cajita, creamy mexicana, and toasted pumpkin seeds. And this is also gluten and wheat friendly. And last is the dulce de leches churros. It's a dulce de leche filled churro sprinkled with cinnamon sugar. And this is new. Moving on to the funnel cake at the American Adventure. This is a sweet potato casserole funnel cake topped with marshmallow topping, cinnamon, sugar, honey roasted pecans, and a caramel drizzle. This is new and available at all of the Joffrey's coffee locations. You can get a caramel tinsel latte, which is a cheerful chocolate tea latte drizzled with caramel sauce and crumbled Twix. It is available hot or ice. And last, we have the caramel tinsel donut topped with crumbled Twix. So that is all the food offerings at the Festival of the Holidays this year at Epcot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you are subscribed and you turn that bell on so you'll be notified when I upload videos like this and you don't miss out. I also have Instagram and Twitter. Links in the description down below. You can check out there. I post a lot of different Disney pictures and that way you can also stay connected with me off of YouTube. And that's going to be it for me. And I will see you all later.